Squarespace Art Portfolio Tutorial Creating Art Portfolio Website on Squarespace Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily create portfolio website using these great online platforms so they provide us the opportunity to create them from scratch or we can easily customize the templates so here we are on the homepage squarespace.com let's click on get started and we'll have to choose the template we want to use. I'm going to switch to portfolio type as you can see and also we can go to art design if we need. So there are a lot of different templates provided by Squarespace totally for free and we can simply and try to find something which is suitable as for us. I think this one is pretty good so I'm going to click on preview to find how does it looks like on different devices so I'm going to switch and as you can see the website is totally responsive and it's pretty cool that they provide this template for free. I'm going to use this one I'm going to click start with this design and we'll have to create an account. Let's continue with Google it may take a little time and now everything is done, we'll come to our dashboard and we can manage different stuff from here. Let's wait for a little. We need to set the title name, I'll let it be like Art Portfolio. So let's click on continue, next, next, get started. And here we are on our managing page. From this page, we can manage all the features with, the, with this website. But if we need to come to dashboard, we can simply click on this Squarespace icon. And as you can see, we can find all the templates here. We can click on more, manage our permissions, spellings, settings. We can duplicate or delete the website. We also have the domain folder. From this folder, we can easily manage all of our domains. So let's go back to our managing page and I wanted to show you main features. Firstly, on analytics, we can find all the traffic sources, sales information and traffic. So it's pretty cool to analyze data. On the design area, we can simply change the site style. So I'm going to change the fonts pack. To do this, I need to click on font pack switch. And from this page here, we can simply change every single font style on the website. As for me, it's pretty cool. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to click on save. And also I'd like to change the color palette. So let's wait for a little, go back to site styles, go to colors, go to edit palette. And we can find some sets from the Squarespace. I'm going to use this one here as you can see nothing changes that much because we don't have a lot of pages but if there was pages it will change for for a huge like like in total total design will be changed so i'm going to click back to colors side styles and i'm going to click on close and we'll come to our editor we can exit it so we'll come to the managing page and also i wanted to show that from page Folder, we can manage our navigation, we can add different pages and so on. So now we only have like contact page. So if you'll, uh, if you'll uh, go back to work and we'll click on edit, we can find the website structure. As you can see, it looks like this. We have like our header with name, with different pages. We have the content here and also we have the footer. So we can add different sections if it's necessary. They have a lot of different templates with context area, about, people, products, services, portfolios. So let's try to add this one here. I'm going to add and I'm going to move it down. So in this, like, uh, in this window, we can interact with the wall section. We can move it down move it up, make it like favorite, we can save, duplicate or edit sections. So if we click on edit, we can edit every single part. We can add the backgrounds, colors, format and so on. So we can also interact with every single element. We can change the position. We can click and then just, for example, change the text. Let it be like helper mon art website. Let it be like this. We can highlight, make it bold, italic, change the color. So there are a lot of features we can easily do. Make it as a link, change the alignment, make it as a list. So I won't do this. So let's undo this option here. We can also add different blocks. 
for example, text, button, form, newsletter, shape, line, and so on. So we can easily add the button here, for example, like this. We can click on edit, change the text, for example, like subscribe to our channel. And here we can add the link. So this website will, this button will lead to the maybe YouTube channel or something like this. We can also duplicate this button, make them two, or we can simply just delete it from this here. So in this case, uh, this like navigation is pretty intuitively understand. It's easy to understand, you know, we can interact with these parts here so we can manage our project. So if you uh, find this like section, we can simply click on manage projects, click on save and we'll come to this area here. And from this page, we can easily change them. We can just go to settings. We can find this featured image, we can add the title, add the URL, for example, to Behance or to the other stuff. In this case, it's pretty cool because we can lead to the other platforms. We can simply also delete or we can add new like project here. So we have like blank project or just like template. So we can simply click here. And as you can see, it looks like this. We can change the like uh, featured image and so on. If you'll go back to pages and we'll click on edit here, we can find that we can easily change the background, change some other stuff. For example, let's try to change these uh, edit gallery. So we can just simply click on edit image. We can just make it like more saturated and so on. So these are the ways of how can we add our works or some other stuff to the website. So if you click on edit, we can manage uh, all the subscriptions. If you try to discover, we have like personal plan, L business. They also provides us the opportunity to try it for free. They have like 40 days trial. So I suggest you to try it. And after that, you can easily decide, is it necessary as for you to pay? Or maybe you'd like to switch to another platform. Sometimes it happens. Business plan uh, has all the features from personal, but also it has, for example, like unlimited contributors number instead of two, have the professional email from Gmail, uh, uh, premium integration and blocks, complete customization with CSS and JavaScript, and also like for the e-commerce some features. So uh, you can easily decide, is it necessary as for you to use Squarespace to build your like art resume hope guys this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe and of course if you have any questions you can easily write them in the comments below i'll try to answer so this is a way of how can we deal with squarespace hope this video helped you out goodbye